Hi, this is Aaron at ThinkBot Labs, and welcome back. All right, next thing we need to do is set up the jump. Let's go back to our animator. For the jump animation, we need to constantly check below the robot's feet if he's grounded or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the robot, game object, create empty, and say uh, ground. Actually, let's call this ground check. Let's move this right below his feet. And let's go ahead and tag it because we won't be able to see it if it doesn't have a sprite um, attached on it. All right, let's go ahead and attach that as a child to the robot. Now before we mess with the animator, let's go back to our code and set up the jump. So we need to see um, we need a bull and to see if he's grounded. We're going to set that to false. And we need the transform for the ground check to see if he's touched or not. So public transform ground check. Okay, and then we need to create a, uh, a ground radius um, for the transform circle for detection. So float ground radius equals 0 0.2 f. Like I said, this is um, how big the circle is going to be when we check the distance to the ground. And we need one more is going to be our uh, public uh, jump force. Public float. And we're going to set this to 700. Force. Not fierce. Okay, let's go back down into our fixed update. And we also need to say what is the ground. So we're going to use a layer mask for this. So public layer mask, what is ground? And this will make more sense here in a minute. So what layer is considered the ground? Alright, next we need to go into our fixed update. Before we do anything, we need to find out if the transform hit the is on the ground or not. So we'll say grounded equals physics 2D dot overlap circle ground check dot position ground radius comma what is ground yep and this is going to return a true or false so true or false did the ground transform hit the uh, what is ground with the ground radius. Then we need to tell the animator that we're grounded. And we'll set these up in just a second in the animator. So ground equals ground did. Tell the animator that we are grounded. 
and we need to say how fast we're moving um, in our vertical speed. Tanum dot set float v speed, which we'll set up here in a second. Get component rigid body 2D dot velocity dot y. So we're going to get how fast we are moving up or down from the rigid body. Now that we're working with input, we need to go to an update. We'll say if grounded and input dot get key down key code dot space no animation. Set bull false. No, not on the ground. And then finally, we need to add the jump force to the y axis of the rigid body. So that is get component rigid body 2D dot add force be a new vector 2 0 comma jump force let me comment this this is um, add jump force to the y-axis of the rigid body Okay, so now we need to go set up our jump animation, our ground, and our v-speed. Sp Save that. Let's go back. So for our jump animation, uh, initially I told you guys to go ahead and create an animation uh, based off all the sp jump sprites. But we're going to do something a little different. Let's go ahead and delete this. And let's go back to our robot and our jump. And we're actually going to create 10 different jump animations. I'll show you why in just a second. So let's create a clip. This is jump one. Let's drag this in here. And we're going to do this for all of them. So jump two. Jump three. Jump four. Jump five. Jump six. Jump seven. A little tedious, I know. But we're almost done. Jump nine. And finally, jump ten. All right. So we have our ten jump animations. They actually got put in the wrong spot, so let's grab those. And drag them over to our robot. Go to our animator. And automatically get added in here. So let's go ahead and delete all these. All right. And we'll go ahead and add our two parameters. It's going to be our bull ground. And our float v speed. 
right click in, in anywhere in the animator create state from new blend tree select blend tree and we're going to call this jump and fall okay and where our transition is going to be from any state to jump and fall and then from jump and fall back to idle and that transition is going to be ground is false so that we can see if we need to jump and if we need to go back to idle that transition is going to be ground is true okay so let's go ahead and go into our jump and fall in our blend tree let's go ahead and move this over select our blend tree we're doing a 1d blend type and our parameter is going to be our v speed and let's add our 10 motions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's grab our jumps and put them in there. So jump one, jump two, jump three, jump four, jump 5, jump 6, jump 7, jump 8, jump 9, and jump 10. Okay, I'm going to change the scale to negative 10 to 5. And we're going to leave this on automatic thresholds. And see, when we modify the V speed, the blend tree cycles through all the jump animations. So the higher the um, V speed, we can see if we rotate our sprite, falling, coming to the ground, jumping and falling. Okay, let's uh, hook that up. So let's go back to our robot. And on the controller, we now have a ground check. Let's grab the ground check transform and put it into the ground check. Okay, and so for what is ground, we need to select everything except for the player. Let's go ahead and try that out. Click play. Move around, spacebar, and he's jumping. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this tutorial up. Uh, we'll see you in the next video where we start to cover more animations and um, start carving out our level. Till then.